Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today to film a help me video and that is a plea to you guys. really feel like I'm looking for the perfect summer dress and I still don't think I've quite found it. I have done a huge order on ASOS. I've actually done two and I have opened the bags because I A, wanted to really wear a dress last weekend when it was hot and I actually wanted to look in the bag and see did any of the stuff look like I would like it and some of the stuff didn't so I actually placed another order and I will not be keeping all these things. I just really am on the lookout for a smart casual maxi-ish style dress and I've got an array of things here and the great thing about ASOS obviously is that there are so many brands uh, and like you know places like Zara or whatever I'm not always going to find the kind of style of dress that I necessarily want. You're going to see a kind of theme here. I'm really into either like a little poofy sleeve. Uh, I definitely like a maxi for day to day because I if you don't want to shave your legs that day. Um, just, you know, like a more easy breezy dress that I can also dress up if I really want to. There's only one co-ord here because I just couldn't pass it up. I thought it looked really cute, but I think I'm a bit scared it might be a bit too poofy. So we're just going to see. It's going to be a lot of fails and hits. Some of this stuff I've tried on, like, like I said, a couple of things because I wanted to wear a dress on the weekend. But otherwise, literally, it's just me trying the dresses on for the first time. So, first of all, in case anyone is wondering, my top is also ASOS. I absolutely fell in love with it. It is a gorgeous stripey off the shoulder. You guys know I love an off the shoulder. I just feel like on any woman, whatever size, shape, however you might be feeling, uh, like I'm having a particularly rubbish feeling week, your decolletage always looks nice. Uh, you just pop on a little bit of highlight and you just kind of feel great. So it's just like a poofy uh, little crop with a bow and fell in love with it. Not much more to say. Also lilac's a huge colour this season so I think ASOS nailed it with this top. First thing is I got quite a lot, by quite a lot I think a couple, a couple of pieces from And Other Stories. The only thing with And Other Stories is sometimes I like the shapes etc but the materials are a little bit off. Like I think this is like a linen but I don't actually like the feeling of it. It feels a bit coarse but anyway we'll see how it goes. It has gotten really hot in the UK my hay fever is so bad this year like I can just feel it all like this is disgusting but like nasal drip and all that it's just gross and I'm the type of person like I will not take medication unless I'm literally I can't bear it anymore so I'm just trying to like suffer through it what I'm trying to say is this kind of material feels like it might be a bit warm when it's really hot but this is the part of the cold I got from stories I cannot remember for the life of me what or how much anything is but everything will obviously be, be linked down below also i had loads of time this morning and i sat and steamed all this stuff can you imagine i steamed everything then we come on to the skirt and this is also really cute i think it's a little bit like i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna look silly in it essentially but this is the skirt so it's got a belt and then it's poofy and it's a midi kind of length so essentially they're gonna go together I could look totally ridiculous but I'm hoping the slight midriff showing is going to kind of break it up a little bit what do we think then I really liked this I feel like this is a little bit different than all the dresses I picked I saw it on the model and I thought it was really airy and breezy and this is an ASOS own brand number I don't know why I got this in a size 8 though because I'm definitely not a size 8 unless I thought it might look a little bit oversized but I'm not so sure. I don't know if this will fit me. If it doesn't, I will put up a picture of the model here because I actually think it's a really nice dress. It's just I don't know if it will fit on the boobies. I don't know. I'm quite sad about this because I actually think it's a really, really pretty dress. One of the only not maxi things that I picked up, this is my second stories item. And I just got this cute, this is again like exactly the kind of style of dress that I like to just chuck on off the shoulder with a sleeve. The only thing again, like stories, like it's expensive it's an expensive brand and it just like feels like something i would pick up from nasty gal or whatever do you see what i mean um so although like the style and everything is really pretty i just feel like couldn't you have made this into like a cotton or something so it's a bit more breathable i don't know maybe i'm just fussy but it's just a really cute short dress so this is actually quite nice as well because i get to like compare what i think like would i spend 80 pound on this like is it special enough or is it just kind of meh? Then we come on to this, which I thought was a really useful thing to have. Um, this is more like the material that I just showed you, where I'm like, okay, this was 30 quid, like justified. But this is an ASOS own brand number, and it's a really pretty dress. It's got that kind of 
dotty. You can probably see a bit better there. It's got like cups and it's just long and frilly. But again, I just feel like maybe this is slightly too much material for like a really hot day. The camera's gonna go weird. Camera go back. Okay, maybe this is better for like an evening out, you know, when you're not, it's not super piping hot, but that's not necessarily what I'm looking for. So we'll see. I do really like the shape of this. It's just, I like my materials in the summer to be really airy and breezy. So it's just, it's a little bit of a battle. I will tell you that. Then I really liked this. My mum is obsessed with polka dots and anytime I get polka dots, I'm always thinking of her. This is from Vera Moda, obviously at ASOS. And it's just a really cute polka dot white dress with a wrap. Wrap dresses always suit me really well. And it's just got little ruched sleeves. I feel like I'm being really fussy in this video. Like really fussy. This is, this is what I'm trying to say. I feel like I have my perfect dress in my head. So you know my ASOS dress, that, um, not my ASOS dress, the Zara dress, the black one with the off the shoulder. That is my perfect dress. And I wish I could just have it in like a blue, a pink, uh, like a, a nudie color. And it's just, I'm not finding anything comparable this one i was a bit like mm, we would just try it and see because it's a wrap but it's a wrap at the front and i have tried a few dresses like this from asos before and they just kind of like push my boobs down and make them look a little bit squashed which i don't really like and obviously it makes the bra situation a bit difficult but the material of this is so nice and breezy i've become a material connoisseur today um it's got puffy sleeves it's got a really lovely like flower print on it really light and area. I feel like it's like a linen cotton blend. I could be totally wrong. And it's closed at the back, but then open at the front. And then it goes into a maxi. This was a dress that I just kind of almost have to show you guys on to try and articulate what I was feeling with it. Because this was one of the contenders that I wanted to wear this weekend when it was roasting hot. And it's this gorgeous, like on the model, it honestly looks divine on her. Like she looks beautiful. Um, dress and this is very much so in the style of never fully dressed you guys know I love their stuff but it looks like ASOS is kind of you know taking a leaf out of their book in terms of design so it's got these roses and then daisies all the way down but and I will show you guys in the cutaway will someone please explain this to me because when I tried this on I literally wanted to scream because I love this dress the cups are like it makes your boobs look like saggy like it does this on the side i will have to show you guys it on to explain but i literally just wanted to try it on to show you guys how odd it looks on me i don't think it's a you know larger bust situation it just literally this this like protrudes out it's very strange nonetheless it's a really nice dress and great material <laughs> i'm really on the lookout for like obviously when everything calms down i have hopefully a few events that have been postponed and i really wanted a like so this is kind of not going with the theme of these other dresses this is definitely more dressy but i wanted to find a dress that i could wear in a little bit more of like a formal setting and i really liked this dress i'm not so sure about the print necessarily i think it maybe it is a little bit old-fashioned but i actually really like the style of the dress it's by a brand called dark pink and they do some really cool dresses. So it's got one shoulder that looks like this, one that looks like this, so you can kind of play around with this one. And then it's all roughly down the bottom. And then it has like a half skirt that goes up to here. And then it just goes down like that. Kind of hopeful, I think it's quite a cool dress. And then what I think is lastly, but by no means least, is this dress. And I have tried this on. I love this color, but the sleeves, like I'm quite, I feel like I've, especially because I'm larger chested, I feel like I, I can look broad very quickly and I think it just emphasizes it. So I feel like I need your help, but otherwise it's such a lovely dress and I really like the material. Um, and this is from Stradivarius. I'm sure everyone knows Stradivarius and it's a wrap dress. You guys know these dresses suit me the best, but it's just, I feel like the shoulders just don't do much for me. I think where it sits and everything, um, they just don't work. But like, look at this color with a tan as well, which mine is fake. I have a fake tan, you guys, that I am, I would close to say obsessed with for the sole reason that it doesn't smell, or at least it doesn't smell like horrendous like the next day. Cause I'm so used to having, when I fake tan, I have two days respite of smelling like a digestive biscuit. Whereas with this, you literally put it on, you smell like that evening, you smell a fake tan. And then the rest of the day, honestly, you just don't smell. 
Um, so if you guys want a favourites video, I know they're not really that popular, but I feel like I've really found some things this like couple of months that I really love. Let me know down below. But going back to the dress, it is really cool. So you guys will probably be able to tell at the try on portion of this video whether I found my perfect dress. If not, we're still on the hunt. Um, let me know which one was your favourite down below. I will obviously link everything down below. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you're all keeping well. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care.